Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome to Vlogmas Day or 14, I think it might be. If you've been watching so far, thank you so much for staying with me. I know my vlogs have not been very consistent and also I've realized I'm so bad at actually concluding my vlogs and like finishing them off. I know yesterday's one ended a bit abruptly. We had such a nice time at Kew Gardens yesterday. We went for the Christmas at Kew light show and it was actually so good. We were both kind of umming and ahhing about it all day. We booked it ages ago, but all day yesterday, I think me and Tony were both like, oh, can't really be bothered, but we should go because we've booked the tickets and we've got babysitters. It was actually quite romantic and it was so nice for us to like actually just spend time together doing something. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. It did rain quite a bit. So my hair is just doing its own thing today because um, it's gone completely frizzy from the rain yesterday. So Tony's off work today as well. It is about one o'clock, I think. I think he's just trying to get him down for a nap. Um, yeah, it's half one, so we really want to get out for a walk today. I'm hoping maybe to go down to one of our local garden centres just to see if there's any like Christmas lights or anything like that which we can show Kian. I felt a bit bad yesterday that we were out and seeing all the lights and Kian wasn't with us. Um, oh, after Kew Gardens, we just drove to one of the streets near us that does like a really big Christmas light display every year and we were like raving in the car to kiss tree. It was so fun actually. <laughs> we were like, oh, let's just spend a bit longer out since we've got babysitters. So today's been a bit of a slow one. Oh, two things. We gave Kian some mushroom today for the first time. I just kind of sauteed some mushroom in water, blitzed it up with the hand blender and put a little bit of formula in it as well, just to get it like a nice puree texture. And I did two mushrooms and I think it must've been about mm, two tablespoons, two, three tablespoons and he loved it like he absolutely loved it he was like just smiling and laughing at us and i really thought he wouldn't enjoy it because it is quite a strong flavor mushrooms like a lot of people don't like them and yeah i tried a bit myself and it was quite strong but he really enjoyed it and we gave him about half the bowl and i was a bit worried about overfeeding him so i took him away from the high chair and tried to give him this bottle and he was just like getting really angry really upset so we popped him back in the high chair gave him the rest of the bowl he was getting like really into it like he was getting upset if i was taking too long to give him a spoon and i noticed like in my last vlog i was saying that he's still doing this quite a lot like the tongue reflex like nom 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 but he seems to have figured it out now, like the fact that he takes in the food and swallows it. He actually managed to eat a lot of it. Not too much went on his bib. Um, oh, another thing, we're using these Bobado bibs. Um, they're like big overalls, but in fact, maybe I'll do like a full weaning video and show everything. But I'll link the Bobado bibs down below because they've actually got 50% off at the moment um, and they're really, really good. I didn't have to worry about mess at all. I was just happy for everything to just go on the bib because it's so easy to clean up. So yeah, as I said yesterday, I'm gonna try and give him a different vegetable every day. I think at the moment we're just gonna do um, one meal a day and then gradually build it up to two and then three. Um, I'm thinking by Christmas, maybe just after Christmas, I'll try maybe combining a few flavors and seeing how it goes. And yeah, that's everything that's been going on with weaning. God, I really don't like my hair like this on camera. Um, what else has been going on? Oh, Tony's parents sent us so many lovely things um, for Christmas. They, oh my God, they sent over so many clothes. Like Kian is set for clothes until he's 18 months so many clothes and I feel a bit sad that I can't choose his clothes because I was really excited to like dress him but you know I'm just so grateful that we've been given so many lovely clothes I'm not going to show them because we've actually packed them all away um but his auntie Angela gave us this really beautiful um Christmas ornament I'll just show it to you so she gave us this really gorgeous Christmas ornament it's all um silver and it says baby's first Christmas on it I absolutely love it sorry you can see my reflection it's kind of ruining it but I think you get the idea of how pretty that is I love having like sentimental Christmas ornaments we've got a few we've got one from um when we got married and we've got um like bumps first Christmas so yeah I really like having oh we've got this one as well that's like one from when we got married that was so sweet of her and we also got well I also made him a little felt one we've stuck it at the back of the tree because I'm not gonna lie it's not the most attractive but it was made with love by his mummy and it says Keen's first Christmas I just made it with felt and stitched it all up and stuck some ribbon on it um so yeah that's another little Christmassy bit that we've got Oh my god, guys, doesn't Kian look like such a big boy? Can you believe he was only in a sleepy head a couple of weeks ago? And now he's like the whole length of his cot nearly. And doesn't he look so big? This is his first time wearing like trousers, like actual 
big boy trousers kind of jeans type thing we usually have him in like joggers but he just looks so grown up <laughs> i can't believe how big you look i'm just in the spare room so i thought i'd quickly show you what we did the other day um since tony's off work we decided to completely sort out our spare room because it was such a mess like honestly we just had stuff piling up it had become a bit of a junk room because it's supposed to be Kian's nursery and it's also the room that Tony works in during the day and because Kian's not sleeping in here we just ended up like chucking everything in here and we had so many clothes we needed to sort through so yeah I'll put in like a before shot of everything so this is Kian's room and I don't actually show it that much because it's also our desk space that's where Tony works during the day um, but yeah this side of the room will hopefully be Kian's nursery but at the moment it's just all kind of piled up and we basically need to tidy it up because we've got the high chair in the kitchen now we need to we need to find space for our clothes horse because we usually hang our clothes to dry in the kitchen but yeah now we need to find somewhere else to dry them so we need to make space for that in here so this is how it looks now. I know it doesn't look uh, much better, but it actually is. We ended up moving the cot from the middle of the room just to the side here so that we can put in our clothes horse. And we've sorted out all the drawers under here. <laughs> Mr. Kian's just chilling in his cot. He never sleeps in here, so that's why we have all the toys and blankets hanging and stuff because he's never, um, ever, ever sleeps in there. So we sorted out all of his drawers. Up here, we've got his current baby grows, bibs, burp cloth, socks all those types of things a little towel um, then down here we've got all his current clothes all his outfits and then down here we've got all of his six to nine month clothes which we will probably start sorting out in January um, start to wash them and take labels off and stuff like that but at the moment they're all down there I didn't want to um, start taking labels off straight away because actually like all of these clothes have been gifts I don't know if we're gonna necessarily use all of them because i think we might have like a bit too many of like baby grows and not enough joggers and that sort of thing so we just need to make sure we've got enough of everything and then yeah so that's all sorted and then up there we've got his 12 to 18 month clothes and then i think in there we've just got like spare toys and just stuff that he'll need when he's older we've got all his nappies wipes stuff like that we ended up putting so much stuff up in the loft we've got all of his old baby clothes up there we've got um his baby carrier we never use it anymore his sling so i thought just chuck that up there as well for our next baby we've got the breast pump and all the breastfeeding stuff we're trying to stay on top of it all because we live in a flat and we've only really got that one cupboard for him we just want to make sure that we know everything that we've got everything up in the loft is labeled properly so that we can find it easily when we need it again and yeah just trying to stay a bit organized so yeah i'm so much happier with this room i know it's not like nursery pinterest goals but you know it works for us and it's just normal guys that's why i haven't really done a nursery tour or anything like that this isn't the most aesthetically pleasing room it is literally just normal <laughs> and it's a bit of a spare room still but before we had Kian, we did put up these little paintings which my sister-in-law made. She painted all of these. She's so talented. And then these are just like little Poundland frames which I painted different colours. And then we also put up this shelf just to display a few like kiddie bits. Um, oh, and I made that little mobile hanging thing for him. And we did change the curtains. So those are kind of like the baby things that we've done to this room it is absolutely pissing down outside and i think we're going to be staying in for the rest of the day watching movies and you know what i'm not mad about it i'm actually so tired so we were just having some lunch and kian was getting really upset so i thought i'd try him out with a bit of broccoli so we just boiled a whole head of broccoli and then i've blitzed it up in the blender with some formula um, we're going to give him a little bit of it. I might actually add in some colostrum that I've defrosted as well. So he's going to be trying two different vegetables today since he's already tried mushroom. And then whatever's left I'm going to freeze in these containers. I just got this off Amazon and they're like big ice cube trays with a lid. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to kind of meal prep with because it's going to be a bit of a pain having to make new puree for him every day. So this is all ready to pop into the freezer and this is what he's gonna be eating. I've, I've just put one syringe of colostrum in there as well. Mister, do you wanna try some broccoli? This is the broccoli that I've just made up. And oh, let me just check, is it hot? No, it's not hot. What do you think? 
Mm. <laughs> yummy? Is that yummy? Oh, I think he likes it. Good boy. Is that yummy? <laughs> Is that yummy? So it's just gone five o'clock and we're having a little snuggle on the sofa here. We're about to watch um, The Nutcracker and The Four Realms on Disney Plus and I'm feeling very snoozy. So we ended up getting like five minutes into the movie and then realised that it's literally impossible to watch a film with a baby. <laughs> so we ended up just doing bath time and bedtime. Tony put him down to sleep. Anywho, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm so tired. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.